What are you doing? This is uh, a 1977 Toyota FJ45 Land Cruiser. Really cool uh, pickup truck. Interesting and rare, and with the typical Toyota Rust package, uh, it's not terrible, but this is all just garbage. There's nothing there. So we're gonna just chop all that off, make new cab corners, put a new door bottom on it, make a new rocker, and uh, touch up a few things. So I don't know, thought it might be fun since it's a pretty cool truck, and uh, somebody mentioned they wanted to see some some bodywork tricks and stuff like that. And since uh, that's kind of what we do, I'll make a video. Uh, you know, whatever. Let's put this truck. In. All right, uh, paper pattern of the repair. You sit approximately. Like that should take care of all of the uh, nonsense. So take that, lay it out on a piece of steel, trace it. Boom! Now take that, put it in the shrinker, shrink that edge to match the radius on the truck, and now we're in the neighborhood, right? We're already in the neighborhood. Let's uh, let's cut all this shit off, and then we'll start fitting it up a little better. Okay, this is the first rough fit of the Toyota panel. We just cleaned away all the rotten shit and uh, got it clamped on, and uh, just thrown up for final trimming. That's uh, going to work just fine. And there's a row of welds that are going to go along here, and then we're going to weld it here. If we were getting fancy, we'd trim all this and butt weld it. That would be very nice, but it's just simply well beyond the budget of this job. So we're going to uh, more or less just put it together as quickly as possible and still make it uh, quite presentable. The door still needs a lot of work. I decided to just hack the entire rocker off. Rather than try and patch it, we'll just make a new one. Back of the fender was also bad, it was all cracked. Uh, who knows, it's been patched and repaired multiple times. So I'm going to uh, just make a whole new piece along here. It'll get spotted here and uh, weld along there and hang down. You know, there's so much material on here that every time you stepped on the running board it would flex and crack. and. It didn't really matter how nice you made it look, that was never going to be anything. So we'll just put a rocker together and then we're going to tackle the door after the rockers are done. There's the new rocker. Pretty much the same story on this side of the FJ45. It's uh, an old repair with a piece of plastic, it looks like, to hold the Bondo in place. So that was uh, that's fairly typical of, of kind of a used car lot treatment. Uh, I'm not saying how I know, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, we're going to step it up and uh, basically the same repair as the other side. Uh, this rocker is not nearly as hammered as the other one, so I'm going to weld up the crack and, uh, you know, we'll just clean that up. If it doesn't completely fall apart, I'm going to leave this side because uh, we're just trying to touch this thing up. Here's the other side, new rocker made and put on, oops, and uh, our new cab corner kind of whistled in there so you know again 
we're not restoring this, right? This is just so that the bottom half of the truck isn't missing. Uh, gruesome close-ups, hey, just for scale. You know, it's fairly rough. Um, but a, a very easy pedal to make. So. We're not starting over, right? Okay. We're trying to make this all just kind of fucking magically go away. Make it go away? Right. If you're doing this right, this all has to be cut out and fucking right. This is, we're just like, yeah, plus we don't want any here. The metal crack. But that's why we replaced this running board bolts here. So if that's all made out of filler, it'll crack. So all I want to do is hide the seam. Hide the seam. This is easy, right? This is fucking, this is junior high school bond okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, so you don't take it too far down the rocker, like, mm -hmm. you, are you okay. not going to, yeah, well, how far down? Really, there's nothing wrong with it, right? Oh. I've got the seat, these are spot welds here. Today's anniversary is Buddy Holly's dad. Right? I know, I heard on the oh, radio. Yeah. What else did I hear? Oh, it was shortly after takeoff. Yeah, like yeah. 10 minutes or something? Yeah, did you guys have a special episode of fucking uh, Mayday to watch, eh? Oh, man. Hey, okay. start singing that again, I'm crashing this fucking plane. That'll be the day. Hello, baby. Don't shit, I'm fucking out of here. Something like that. And then here. Which of us, put up your hand, who doesn't have a car that needs rockers? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> we all do. Right? Put a new uh, bottom in the passenger side door as that was just more or less completely gone. Uh, anyway, that turned out very nicely and that should last forever. Here's our Land Cruiser project with a little bit of primer on the spots. Again, just a touch-up job. Not trying to save the world. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's the uh, primer door repair. 
looks very nice. So we'll prep that up now, prep all this up, and we'll probably end up, uh, we'll end up going in most of the sides of the vehicle. Not doing the hood, not doing the roof, not doing the back of the cab. Those are all in fine shape, just the rust on the side. Not fixing any of the dents. I know you guys are going to see dents in the sides. The owner likes the dents, so we're leaving them. Just doesn't like the hole. And uh, last look at the Toyota before we spray it. Nothing really fancy. There's our repaired door and whatever. That's pretty much how it's going to go. Just going to spray the sides. Again, not, uh, not trying to restore it, just touching it up. But should look a lot better than when it got here. Here's a look at the uh, Toyota Land Cruiser we worked on. Uh, he's just getting ready to pick it up. He's going to finish it at home, put the running boards on and whatnot. Um, anyway, there, that's the rebuilt bodywork. Door bottom on the car, and rocker done, cab corners. Some light touch-ups on the rest of it. Put the bottom of the door on there. Some repairs here and basically kind of just splash the whole thing to so that it would all be the same color. So anyway, that was a fun job and terrific truck. Really nice fellow and had a lot of fun doing it. The regular ah, same old shit. <laughs>